Hey everybody, how you doing? My name's Tim, and welcome to Bros Who Know Stuff. So what we're doing is we're going to look at the site now that we put the Lyman Receiver 66LA site on, and specifically designed for the Marlin 336. Um, this this is a Marlin 336C, as in, C stands for carbine. It's got a 20 inch long uh, barrel on it, and um, this is already mounted it's got two bolt screws on the side here it's for a flat receiver this is a 1978 uh rifle i've cleared this multiple times even before i started this video so to clear it you just rack the lever a few times look down there's nothing in there and looks great so we've cleared the rifle make sure that you do that every time and then squeeze the lever and then pull the trigger and then slowly release the hammer there you go so we're good so now let's take a look at this site that I just put in that is a Lyman 66A receiver site and again these are manufactured and built um, by Lyman that go on the flat receiver so these go on the flat receiver um, of the Marlin so for this project, you want to make sure you have a really good rounded screwdriver. Um, you don't want anything, a bad screwdriver. Um, you don't want to strip these uh, little bolts, bolt screws that come out. And I am going to be using this little guy here on the end. Um, this is from Grace USA. This is the SS3. Um, it's sort of perfect for taking this little head out. Um, this little thread there. Yeah, let me show you That little guy. That's how small it is. I mean, it's pretty small so you get the idea But make sure you have a really good set of screwdrivers So today what we're going to do is put the base plate on the receiver of the Marlin 336 This is a 1978 uh, carbine 3030 and these are the two screws that we need to take out in order to put the the base plate alignment base plate and we have two openings in the base plate here there's one there and there's one here and that's where we're going to insert the screws that Lyman sent us and those screws are a little bit longer than these little guys that will come out here so you will see and make sure you have a really good rounded head screwdriver on this now it's really easy to take these out because I took them out already and cleaned these but you will see, and let me let me go in close here, and hopefully not lose these. And uh, and so let's go right over here. Okay, so uh, screw this out here, and I just I show you these are really really small. So this is the size of, so here's the nut that comes out. So this is the thread that comes out, the thread bolt. And it's really, really small. And this came out of the receiver right there. And we'll take the other one out. Okay, one thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you do not lose these screws. So I'm gonna open up this box here. And as far as a comparison, the, the little bolt screws that we're going to be putting in, let me take this out. So I'll just show you a comparison here real quick before we get started. So this is the guy, this is the guy that we're going to be putting in to the receiver. And this is the one that we just took out that one right there so we're going to be putting on the base plate this is the base plate and then once we get the base plate on we're going to be putting the elevation windage adapter on so before we mount this um, on the base plate right here I want to show you uh, these this is the threaded bolt that is going to go um, in here and it's going to go through this little that opening right there 
it's going to go down through there. So when we put this on, it will go just like this. We're going to, there's a, it's grooved right there, or seat it like that. So one thing I'm going to do before I even start is I'm going to see if these threads even fit in to this, to my Marlin receiver here. And the way I start this is instead of just threading it in directly, I kind of do counterclockwise and then clockwise a couple times just to get a feel for it. Um, so the thread seat down in there, there we go. And then very delicately, okay. That thread's pretty nice and it threads pretty tight. I'm gonna put it back in here so we don't lose it. I'm going to take the other screw out here. And again, these are really small, so yeah. Be very careful with those. So again, this is your base plate and this is your windage. And so when you get it on, it's gonna look like this it's gonna set like this. So we have, there's only really one way that you can put this on. And it took me a couple times, especially when you're messing around with it here. So you have like this. So here's your, this is your base plate with the two holes that we're gonna line up with the screws when we mount. So it's going to be just like this so one thing you can do is you can leave just to balance the base plate out you leave the other section on and grab your screws now some people uh, they you know it's your choice you can use Loctite but I would do that very cautiously and very sparingly um, because if you get lock type down in your receiver, you might lock something up down in there. No pun intended. So I'm going to start this one screw here. And I'm going to mess around. Okay, so that's set. And let's get a close-up of this here real quick. So here I put in the first bolt on the receiver. And I'm going to be putting in the second one here in just a second. Okay, now I'm going to put the other bolt in. We have the first bolt in. Here's the second. Wiggle that around a little bit. Let that bolt seat in there. A little back and forth motion. Okay. Be sure not to over tighten, but get them snug. These are these are little bolts that with the uh, over time the you'll have to check and make sure that the vibration doesn't rattle these loose and all you have to do to check these if you have the this is the the push the button in here push that down you can watch my other video and if you look right up there um there'll be a link to the video um, just check that out it's a very it's a close-up of the 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 um, lyman receiver here this is the 66LA and it fits the Marlin 336. The item number is 366. So when you put the elevation re windage adapter on, so I haven't put this on yet. So what you do is there is a, this threaded bolt right here. You can see that, that right there, that bolt is going to go through down into this hole so you the base plate has some grooves on it that you line up and then this little uh, push button right here which is really really tight you just push it in and then that seats it all the way down so when you're looking at it it looks just like that so that's seated it's not moving if you need to to raise the um, elevation and windage mount. And this right here, this is your elevation. These are incremented um, in 
minutes and you have 0, 15, 30, and 45 minutes. And you can read up about that. I have got another video on that. And so let's see, bring it out here just a little bit. And then again, if you want to change it, all you have to do is just push that button in. I'm going to put it all the way down. And there you have it. So that, that is mounted flush. It's made very, very well. Um, good material. And take a close look up. Look, let's take a close look up at this one. So there you have it. This is the Lyman 66 LA. It's mounted on a Marlin 336C 1978 3030 caliber. And let's get a look down the site now. All right, this is not the best situation. I'm using my iPhone here and I'm at 2.5x. What I've done is I've raised the elevation plate up and you see that zero mark right there with the notch. That's setting just at 16 minutes. 